Today we're gonna render duck fat. A few days ago we harvested 13 male ducks. Easy buddy, easy buddy. And as we were processing the ducks, we decided to keep a bag of all of the fat that we were taking off of the ducks. So that means we get to render some duck fat. Duck fat is this incredible substance that is absolutely phenomenal for cooking. And if you have a whole bunch of it, it's really easy to make. So let's go get the duck fat. Set the refrigerator. It's actually our store of duck livers. I'm going to do something with that pretty soon. Here is all that duck fat. I mean, look at this stuff. There is a lot of it. I don't know. Maybe it feels like a two pounds, maybe? Two pounds of duck fat? Um, yeah, you can see there's actually some feathers. As I said in a previous video, we didn't do a great job plucking, but that's gonna be okay because when we strain the duck fat, the feathers will get sifted out. I'm gonna use our Dutch oven here to render the duck fat. First off, you're gonna to wanna to add a little bit of water here. You don't wanna to add too much, but just a little bit. I wanna bring it up to a boil. The purpose of the water is to keep the duck fat from sticking and burning against the pan. Oh, I wanna show you too what I got on the back burner here. So, you might notice this pot here. So inside this pot, you'll see a whole bunch of duck meat. Here, see what you can see. So you can actually see right here, that's like a duck toenail. You'll notice, they sort of inflate. And as I pull off the lid, notice they deflate pretty quickly. Shoo. I feel very strongly about trying to use absolutely all of the parts, or at least as many of the usable parts of the duck as possible. So doing things like making stock out of their feet and rendering duck fat, um, that to me makes the, the sacrifice that the animal made to give me food feel that much better. Um, so that's why you're seeing me put so much effort into you know, cooking down things. And plus, this is gonna give us some delicious, delicious food. So our water's starting to boil and bubble a little bit. All right, let's turn this guy down just a bit. Get it nice low flame now. All right, so that's like that. I'm basically just taking the duck fat out of the bag. Pouring it in. The trick is you want this at a low heat, very, very low heat. So you do not want to cook your fat. You just want to render it down and liquefy it. Look at all that duck fat, man. That's going to be awesome. And yeah, like I said, don't worry about those feathers. We're going to take care of those in a little bit. Ducks are difficult animals to pluck if you're doing this at home. So have a little empathy here for me. All right, we're just going to let that cook down. So while we're waiting for the fat to render down, let me show you this. Allison was out in the garden this morning and she harvested the delicata squash. Look at these things. Delicata squash is so good. Allison got annoyed by the feathery bits, so she's cutting out the feathers. You should plan to stir it every couple of minutes just to make sure nothing sticks to the side of the pot. The idea is you want it to render, so it's cooking really, really slowly and essentially liquefying all the fats. The fats are the good stuff. That's what you're gonna ultimately keep. There's so much duck cooking in here right now. It smells like duck cooked in duck with a little bit of duck on top. So labor. That is looking pretty much entirely rendered down. There's some good duck fat in there. All right. 
All right, so now that we've rendered down all the duck fat, it's time to pour it off. To pour it off, what I'm gonna do is pour it through this strainer and then pour it into this pot. I might end up straining it twice. We'll see how many of the feathers and crap that's in there and impurities uh, get through. A lot of people actually will use cheesecloth. Unfortunately, we do not have any cheesecloth, so we are improvising here today. Get it all out. Yeah, that worked pretty good. Would you look at that? That's some good duck fat we got going there. Now that I've strained it, I'm gonna pour to store it here. Hopefully I don't make a mess. And then I made a mess. Oh. I am such a klutz. I swear to God. Did you look at that? <laughs> I'm terrible at pouring stuff. Hope Allison doesn't notice. So according to this line here, we have exactly two and a half cups of duck fat. There you go. So there you have it. That's our duck fat. Fat of 13 ducks raised out on our pasture. If you're curious about us processing the ducks, be sure to check out this video. And if you're curious about other things, check out this. Uh, hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, I'm gonna go make something with this wonderful duck fat. Maybe some french fries or something? I don't know.